hello student i hope your preparation is going good as i have promised that i have already collected a few of the question of your studied second half paper and these question are exactly asking brc studies examination so if you do not have idea what type of question they have asked in recent examination so based on these questions you will get the final approach how you can get the exact question in brc examination for the next upcoming two days so the first question which they have asked as i have already discussed the most of the questions are exactly similar question which they have asked in examination the first question was lumped heat analysis they will give in a one body and uh, the temperature of the body is 80 degrees centigrade and the uh, temperature is going to reduce till 79.22 and the atmospheric temperature is 30 degree and they will also provide the cp density heat transfer coefficient and diameter of that particular body you need to calculate if you remember the lumped heat analysis formula then you can easily put all this data and basically you need to take a logarithm and solve to get the final time calculation a little bit lengthy calculation is there but if you have accuracy then you can easily solve because these are based on the simple formula Going ahead with the next question, this is a SOM questions and the question they have mentioned like power they have given as a 30 kilowatt uh, like speed and RPM they will given as a uh, 1000 RPM and maximum shear stress they will given as a 420 MPa outer diameter of shaft they will given as a 100 mm and inner diameter you need to ask these questions are related to the torsion and if you have idea then you can easily solve I will put the formula over here tau by r equal to t by z equal to z theta by l if you need put all these data you can easily calculate the inner diameter of the soft these are the hollow soft these question are exactly asked similar in the gate examination and if you have already solved the previous year question you can easily solve this question as well going ahead with the third question from the heat transfer and the conduction chapter if you have solved all the gate previous year question of the conduction you can easily solve this question they will given a one wall the wall thickness was 10 mm and the one side of temperature is 2400 uh, degree centigrade and other side you need to calculate at the wall temperature and the surrounding temperature they will given as a 200 degree centigrade and h1 h2 they will already provide the data and conductivity that is wall thermal conductivity they will also given the data in a questions if you put all these data in a standard formula you can easily solve this question these are the standard question so you cannot skip it at all going ahead with the next question from the theory of motion they will ask from the gyroscopic chapter you need to basically calculate the gyroscopic couple they will give in the data of uh, moment of inertia i omega and omega p and you need to put this uh, data in a formula you can easily calculate these questions these are the very easy questions and i think they, these questions is also asked in engineering services examination pre papers and if you already solved the previous year question you can easily solve this question as well Going ahead with the next question from the fluid mechanics, they will given a one plate and the length and width, uh, width of the plate was 4 and 2 meter and uh, the, like the flow was turbulent they have initially mentioned but you need to calculate uh, the check the flow like they haven't mentioned the type of flow I have mentioned over here and they will given a velocity basically you need to check the through Reynolds number and once you check that and you to after that you need to calculate the boundary layer thickness delta and they will also provide the data of mu so that you can calculate the flow type and once you calculate the flow type you will get the turbulent flow after that you can easily calculate the boundary layer thickness delta as per the formula of delta x and uh, if you solved all the question of fluid mechanics you will get the maximum question related to the kinematics and a few basic properties of fluid mechanics few very few uh, questions from the like last part of the fluid mechanics and fluid machineries are there a few of the questions but most of the question from the kinematics and basic properties of fluid mechanics going ahead with the next question which is coming from the uh, engineering mechanics and these question are the frictions question i have already informed multiple time they have asked continuously two to three question from the frictions they have mentioned three blocks uh, the upper block having one kg say, uh, second block having two kg third block having three kg and uh, they will provide the friction between first and second kg of block having 0.1 and similarly for the second kg and third kg of block having friction is 0.3 and they will pull a force with the first block having F. I do not remember the exact force, but you need to total calculate the what was the acceleration of each block. They will give in options. So you need to select that particular option over there. So if you remember that all these questions sometimes are come in an ESE examination, few of the questions from came from the gate examination. And I have observed the multiple questions are exactly similar with the gate, only they will change the data of gate examination. So if you have already solved the gate previous year question 
क्वेश्चन सेव अ लॉट्स ऑफ टाइम इन बी आर सी एग्जामिनेशन एंड टाइम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर द क्लियरिंग ऑफ बी आर सी एग्जामिनेशन सो आई होप दिस वीडियोज आर इन्फॉर्मेटिव इफ यू थिंक डू लाइक एंड शेयर विद्रेंड एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक्स